It's Madden NFL 22, and we've got a showdown in the NFC South. It's the Bucks and the Panthers coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Just a moment ago, the lights, the cameras, the action, all the pyrotechnics, everything was ablaze, everything was allowed here at Bank of America Stadium as Carolina emerged from their tunnel. And we are ready to go as the Panthers get set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon Gaud alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. And CD, our quarterbacks taking center stage here for each of their respective offenses. Tom Brady of the Bucks, Sam Darnold of the Panthers. And I think that each quarterback wants to play this game with a faster tempo. They want to get the plays in quickly, get in and out of the huddle quickly, take just a few seconds of the line of scrimmage and survey the defense, and then attack. And I think that we'll see both offenses try to do that in this one. Zane Gonzalez has us ready to go, and we are underway here from Bank of America Stadium. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And we get a peek at Tom Brady as he brings out this Tampa Bay offense. And Tom Brady in his 22nd season overall and his second in Tampa Bay. Well, we've all seen what Tom Brady can do on the football field for a couple of decades now. But how about his most impressive accomplishment? Moving to a different franchise and taking them to a Super Bowl title as well. Not many players can continually stiff arm Father Time the way that he has. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Play action, now it's Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, it's Brady. He's gonna go for a big play downfield. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. And the Panthers are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Well, here we go for the first time with the Panthers offense led out by their new quarterback for 2021 in his fourth season overall now after three with the Jets. It's Sam Darnold. And the thing with Sam Darnold is we know the skill set is there. May not be the most mobile or strongest arm quarterback in the league, but usually plays with really good poise and at his best, like a point guard in basketball, able to move around and distribute the rock. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. After the interception, here's Darnold. And incomplete on the deep ball. I think that's how this defense is going to need To throw is Darnold. And oh, that nearly an opening drive INT, but it does fall incomplete. Not. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he's going to get this up to the 24 yard line. Let's go. 
Brady now on first down. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Well, it's a question that's been asked over and over and over. But miles an hour. On second and 11 now. Brady. That's complete to Tyler Johnson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Well, this is... Now Brady. Again for Evans. This time he's got him. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 45-yard line. Frank. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Brady's throw taken in by Evans here. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on third and a yard. A handoff to Fournette. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. Fournette, now another first and 10. Brady. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. Seven yards, the pick up there. They gave up the completion there. But Last play, and that leads us to a third and three. They go back to the ground now with Fournette. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. So Brady departs, and on it's Ryan Suckup for the Buccaneer field goal. Suckup's kick is good, and the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. So that drive began at their own three. They wind up getting three out of it. And to me, the mentality to begin the drive, that was probably the key to everything. Let's just make sure we take hope that his play caller dials up something that can give him a completion and get him going. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. And this pass. They begin with a run by Fournette. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now in the goal. From the 36, Brady. They'll swing this out to Fournette. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield and picking up a first down. On first and 10, here's Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two yards on second down. Brady now to throw. He's got his big tight end, Gronkowski. And he's got this down. And put the down marker back to one. Here's a give to Fournette. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. Let's go, let's go. I think we can safely save the Working from the gun, it's Brady. Here's Johnson with a reception. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' eight. Into the red zone, it's Brady. A quick pass here to Godwin. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Field goal try. And Suckup will put this one right through. And they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's 6 to nothing. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They'll run again. This time it's Abdullah. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And there's a run. Third and two, Darnold. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here. Pass here now is second and 10. 
Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. He gets this one to Johnson. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped. Just Here's Brady. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice pace. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard, your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. And that's a more than acceptable. Now Leonard Fournette. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. 68 yards rushing for him now to this by reaching the five. Brady going to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the Bucs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three. Affection. A kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Leonard Fournette, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Buccaneers here. And he's got it to make it now 13 to nothing. So that drives seven plays in length. And the man who finished it. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Frustrating. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball. But how about Persian? They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Well, Carter, none of these runners on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 10. Now it's Darnold. He's going to look deep for more. And that will be in at their own 27. He'll begin with a give to Fournette to start the drive. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. 78 yards on the ground. To slow him down before he truly gets started. Throwing on second and three. Brady. And he finds Howard complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. I like how they work the Fournette, a first down carry. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And once again. Play action. Now it's Brady. Blitz coming and down he goes. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards. And a sack resulted. Throwing his Brady on third down. Airing this one out for Evans. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Panthers are going to get the football here at their own 23. The defense, because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary. And I think, oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by him. Just because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Point is from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. And with that completion, he's now north of two. Shotgun now for Brady. Looking for Godwin again, and he's got him once more. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts. Buccaneer field goal from the left hash. A chip shot here. Suckup's kick is good. And that's going to make this a 16-0 ball game. 
So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six oh, field oh, goals. Brandon, but, but six? Let's hope we don't get that. <laughs> The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. Abdul is going to stay put, and the drive will start at the 25. But the Panthers ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. First down throw, Darnold. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. A big play there for... Second down, another chance for Hubbard. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A shotgun snap for Darnold. Thomas has got it, complete. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Boy, how is they're backed up now for third and goal. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Now Matt Rule keeping the offense on the field to go for two here. They're going to throw for the two with Darnold. And this is going to be caught, so they do get it. And the two points, now they're back down to a one-score deficit. And that almost makes it a brand-new ballgame. Now it's a one-score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two-point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two-point play. It worked. Now Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Brady. This is caught by Evans. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. From midfield, here's Brady. They'll swing this out to Fournette. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It'll go down as a gain of six. And it'll make it six. To throw, it's Brady. Throwing left side, he's got Gronk complete. Here he's going to go, go out go. of bounds, but he takes this go. one down just shy of the 20. Again, they'll throw with Brady. A giant hole up the middle, and he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped it. Fournette again, and he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Leonard Fournette. His second touchdown of the half. Put you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And the lead is up to 15 now. Red 80. Red 80. And they'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And he'll take this across the 25 before Let's going go. out of bounds. 42 yards on the ground for him now in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Darnold now to throw. 
And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the... Throwing to start the drive. Brady. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Brady going to throw. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. And he finds Gronk. And he's taken down inside the 30. Brady now on first down. A pass underneath for Fournette. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine. So Brady departs, and on is Ryan Suckup for the Buccaneer field goal. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. And Suckup will put this one right through, and that will extend their lead even further. And right now, Charles, this is about building that lead little by little, and they're able to do just that. And it gets them past the key number of 16, so this is now a three-score lead. Not They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. Checks this down to Hubbard. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. They'll contain him to just... A second down run for Abdullah. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the run. Panthers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and four. Now Darnold. He'll get this complete to the running back, Hubbard. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Here's Darnold. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Plan, and especially the execution. Darnold will throw it on third and one. And he will find the rookie from LSU, Terrace Marshall. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down. Tory now, it's first and ten, right at the 40. Here's Darnold. Escaping the pressure right. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Sure tackle. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. Catch here, left side, Thomas. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down. Try the Panther field goal. Gonzalez's kick is good. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? Eight so far. This is third and nine. Play action. Now it's Brady. Throw left side complete. That's Howard. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the... On first down, Darnold. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. The sack by the Super Bowl champion. Second down. Another try after the first down sack. Darnold, and that's complete to the right side. It's Marshall. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because... From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. And this is going to be incomplete. You got it. You got it. Throwing to start the drive. Brady. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back in his own three yard. A handoff to Fournette. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Give him six on the hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and 17. 
And now here's a deep shot that's complete. 30, past the 20. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Come on, let's go. O.J. Howard, 92 yards. And the Bucs have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. I tell you, for a defender, that's got to be a scary sight, seeing a big man like this with a head of steam behind him as he makes that catch and then turns up field. Yeah, normally when you talk about tight ends, you immediately begin talking about them rumbling down the field. But to me, he was pretty well gliding downfield there. Very athletic for a big man, and he takes this one all the way to pay dirt. Extra point put through by Suckham, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough for us. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. First and 10. Back to throw, Darnold. Thomas has got it, complete. A gain of six there. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the top. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Throwing again is Darnold. It's complete, Abdullah. And he is gonna have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down. You're not ready, you're not ready. 45, On first and 10, Darnold. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a nice completion. On the delay, this is Abdullah. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It'll be a pick. He told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's nice every now and then in this game. Now. Darnold now to throw. That is caught. It's Anderson. Touchdown, Panthers. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Panthers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. So here's Darnold now as he'll lead his guys up to go for two. They're going to throw for the two with Darnold. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods it's in practice now, something they never really did before. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. Way if they can't stop them here. Brady. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third. Second and goal. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one.
so fire the kids. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward.